My name is Lisa, and I'm a full-time housewife. I live a harmonious life with my husband, Noah, and our daughter, Madison. On this day, an aliocaniate dim sum really gets your heart pumping, doesn't it? Haha, uh -huh, maybe we should try it sometime. Uh, I need to use the restroom. Okay, wait, wasn't Madison in there just now? Hey Madison, are you still in the bathroom? Yes, I'm still here. I got it. But isn't that a long time to be in the bathroom? We'll be late for daycare at this rate. Um, daycare is off today, so it's all good. Madison, did you perhaps make a mess in the bathroom? No, I didn't. Um, I'm in a good place right now. Madison, it's okay. Everyone has bathroom accidents. There's nothing to be ashamed of. And remember, you can always rely on your mom and dad when you're in trouble. We'll help you with all we've got. So please, I'm begging you, open the door. Or else, dad's going to have a bathroom accident. Why did you wait until the last minute? It's okay, dad. Everyone makes mistakes, so Madison won't mind. Please mind it. Dad's mistake would be a disaster. Oh, Noah, maybe you shouldn't move too much. Like this, we lived our peaceful daily life. On this day, we decided to have lunch at the shop next door to our house. It's a long-standing pub that serves as a diner during the weekday lunchtime, so we visited it often. The dumplings here are always delicious, aren't they? Yeah, and the shumai here is super tasty, too. Ah, uh -huh. thank you. This is making me blush. You always compliment us, but you don't have to force yourselves. We're not forcing anything. I love the Chinese set here. Robert, you should take it at face value. Madison, what are you talking about while eating your kid's meal? Thank you, Madison. Your words are making me a little embarrassed. You serve such good food, be more confident. Hey, Madison, is that an imitation of your dad? This is Robert, the owner of the shop. He has a friendly personality and we get along well as neighbors. Then, Jessica, Robert's wife, appears from the kitchen. Oh, you two came, thank you always. Hello, Jessica. Thank you for always serving such delicious food. Thank you. Hearing that makes him happy too. Robert, your face turned a little red. Yes, he always gets shy when complimented. Oh right, Lisa, isn't your electric bill high recently? It is high, isn't it? It suddenly increased and I was surprised. Even considering the soaring crude oil prices, it's too high, isn't it? At daycare too, we're told to be careful with electricity. That's right, everywhere the electricity bill is high now. Then let's all work hard to save energy. Here, we'll do our best. Electricity prices have risen significantly nationwide, causing concerns among my neighbors and fellow moms. After discussing electricity costs with Jessica, I decided to put more effort into conserving energy. So, I plan to discuss this with Noah when he returned home that evening. So, given that electricity prices are likely to continue to rise, I'm thinking that we should start conserving energy from this month. Uh, I've seen that a lot in the news. In that case, let's give it a try. Here, let's all do our best. And so, we, as a family, worked on conserving energy by diligently turning off lights and revising the temperature of our air conditioning. However, even after half a year of efforts, we saw no effect. On the contrary, our electricity bill kept increasing. Confused and worried about the cause, we received the bill for this month's electricity usage. Hey, Noah, this is the electricity bill statement. What? A charge of 100,000 yen? Isn't that some kind of mistake? I thought so too, and checked with the power company, but they said there's no leakage and no mistake. Even so, we've been doing various things to conserve electricity. So, I asked the person at the power company if there was a more effective way to save energy. Oh really? They told me it's a good idea to switch off the circuit breaker during the time we're asleep. I see, indeed, we have more appliances not in use when we're sleeping. But what about things like the refrigerator, isn't that problematic? They said that as long as we don't open the refrigerator, the food should be fine if we switch it back on in the morning. However, depending on the appliance, it might lead to malfunctions and it seems it might use more power to restart some of them. Anyway, shall we try it until the heat wave comes at least? That's true. This might help to reduce the electricity bill a bit. I've borrowed a battery-operated fan from a mom friend, so let's give it a try starting tonight. Ah, uh, as always, Lisa, you're well prepared. All right, let's do it for the sake of saving energy. Hoping that this time we would see the effects of our energy-saving efforts, we decided to switch off the circuit breaker at night. 
And the following morning, while I was preparing breakfast after switching the breaker back on. Considering the dramatic sound of switching off the breaker, there were surprisingly no issues at all. Yes, and all our food is still good. This might be a good practice for a power outage situation. Indeed, we might consider incorporating rechargeable appliances and such, there could be ways to manage it. We'll consider that and again tonight we'll. Hello. Lisa, you're home, right? Oh, that's Jessica's voice. I wonder what she's doing here so early in the morning. Jessica, what brings you here so early in the morning? It's more a question of what happened to me. This morning, the fridge in my shop broke down. What are you going to do about it? Wait, why are you here at our house about this? I don't think your refrigerator issue has anything to do with us. Anyway, I'm expecting compensation from you. Understand? Come to the shop right away. She's gone. What on earth happened? I... I don't know. Maybe she panicked because the fridge broke down. So, what are we going to do? What she said was nonsensical. I guess. Wait, this morning, the fridge. Oh, could it be? Suddenly, Jessica showed up at our house, demanding in a great fury that we compensate for the broken refrigerator. Suspecting something, I made certain preparations before heading to the tavern. Good morning, hope we're not intruding. We came here because Jessica called us. Finally, you've arrived. Now, hurry up, admit your guilt and compensate for the fridge. Wah, wait a minute, Jessica. How did it come to this? Just calm down, will you? Jessica, you shouldn't just be shouting all the time. So, I heard the refrigerator in the store broke down. Do you know what caused it? Ah, for some reason the ice inside the refrigerator had melted. I think the power to the fridge alone must have somehow gone out. And it seems to have fixed itself this morning. That's when the current flowed to a weird place, and it seems to have shorted out. I see, by the way, do you know the specific time when it broke down? It was working perfectly fine last night. So it must have broken down after that. Then, there was a popping sound this morning, so if I had to guess when it broke, it's this morning. This morning. I see, I see. So, Jessica, you've been stealing electricity from our house, haven't you? What? What are you talking about? There's no way I would do such a thing. When I pointed out that Jessica was siphoning off our electricity, she hastily denied it. So I... You know, something's been puzzling me. Why were you so insistent that we were responsible for your broken fridge? So, I came up with a hypothesis, and it seems like I hit the nail on the head. Quit talking in riddles. Explain how you jumped to such a preposterous conclusion that I was stealing electricity. Actually, last night, we turned off our home circuit breaker. Eh? The breaker? Why would you do something like that? To save energy. Our electricity bill had soared to 100,000 yen. We were prepared for some risks, so we decided to switch off the breaker. Well, what? 100,000 yen a month in a residential house? That's way too high. Yes, that's why we wanted to save energy, even if it meant switching off the breaker. And then this morning, right after we switched the breaker back on, you came over, Jessica. I suspect that's when your fridge broke down, right? I did open and close the fridge a bit for prep work during the night. That would explain the breakdown. Jessica, did you do it? No, no way. That's absurd. And by the way, switching off the breaker puts a huge strain on your appliances. Even your air conditioner maintains a steady temperature in standby mode. If you cut off the power and then suddenly turn it back on, it might break down. Can you please stop trying to change the subject? Mom, why don't you show them the meter reading? Good point. She doesn't seem likely to admit it without evidence. Robert, could you please show us the electricity bill for your shop? Ah, uh, I see. All right, I'll bring it over right away. Wait a minute, Robert. You don't have to do that. Jessica desperately tries to stop Robert from retrieving the electricity bill. However, Robert ignores her protests and returns with the bill in hand. Here it is. So, we're comparing this with your bill, Lisa? Yes, if my guess is correct. No way. The decrease in our electric bill matches the increase in yours. Let's see. Ah, uh, indeed, the difference is perfectly matched. The charge kept ballooning until it reached 100,000 yen. I knew something was off. I, I'm so sorry. My wife has done something terrible. Wah. Robert, why are you apologizing? I've told you, I didn't do it. 
Just because the difference is the same doesn't mean I'm guilty. That's not valid evidence. Oh, speaking of, Madison soyant Jessica last night. She was plugging some kind of extension cord into the outlet outside our house. What did you say? Madison, is that true? Yep. She was making a lot of noise, and I saw her when I woke up. Wah. Robert, don't take a child's words at face value. She's lying. She's just saying that so I'd admit to something. She's making it all up. Oh, I'm impressed, Lisa. Using a child to corner me. Hold on, we would never do such a thing. Madison, you really saw Jessica last night, right? Yeah, oh and look, I took a picture with Daddy's old phone. Wow, you took a good picture. Good job, Madison. This photo. Our breaker. The fridge that's off. And the location of the outside outlet. Jessica, you were drawing power for your fridge from our outside outlet. Isn't that right? Well, it is strange that the breaker for the kitchen didn't trip when the fridge shorted out. As I lay out the evidence, confirming my suspicions, Jessica responds. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yes, that's right. Even though some of it was chance, you gathered quite a bit of evidence. I must praise you for cornering me like this. Wah. Jessica. What's with that attitude? I thought I wouldn't get caught, with electricity prices on the rise. It was a perfect plan. I didn't expect it to come to this. Don't joke around. What you did is a crime. Don't you get it? Why aren't you apologizing? Why are you so defiant? Huh? Apologize? Me? Ha ha ha. What are you talking about, Robert? Why should I apologize? I only did it for our household. I didn't do anything wrong. That's exactly the point. You can't steal from others for your own selfish needs. I'm divorcing you. And you will pay for the refrigerator. What? Who's the one joking here? Why are we suddenly talking about divorce? Why do you think I was trying to save electricity? Of course, it was for you and the store. Why should I, who worked hard for the sake of our store, have to endure such treatment? So you think anything is justified if it's for the sake of the store? Stealing electricity is a form of theft. No matter how noble the reason, a crime is a crime. Therefore, we will be billing you for the electricity you stole from our house. What? You're charging me for the electricity. It's not a big deal, so just let it go. That's the same kind of excuse a shoplifter would use. If it's not a big deal, you shouldn't have done this in the first place, right? Even small amounts add up, don't they? I was just being diligent in saving money as the shop owner's wife. I don't understand why I'm being scolded for saving money. Robert addresses Jessica, who shows no signs of acknowledging her wrongdoing. Enough is enough. Can't you tell the difference between what's right and what's wrong? You're always thinking about yourself. Aren't you ashamed? Ashamed? What's that? It's something to feed to the dogs around here. In today's world, it's all about how you can manipulate things to your advantage. Even if it means being shamed, what matters is achieving your goal. And this is the result. You haven't maneuvered well at all. You're so focused on the present that you don't think about the future, and that's why this happens. The future? Do you think I'm capable of considering that? I did my best in my own way. Don't expect everyone to think ahead like you do. Really, Jessica, you have no regrets at all. Lisa, let's file a victim report on this matter. She won't reflect otherwise. Victim report. Does that mean? I'll be arrested. Jessica, when you do something bad, you have to apologize. Calling the police is far beyond apologizing. Please, don't do that. I'll apologize, I really will. It's too late to say that now. Why would we believe you? Well, you better behave yourself under the police's care. From now on, you should fully experience the weight of your actions. Jessica, you tried to cheat a little, but ended up losing a lot, huh? Wait, aren't you going to forgive me? Did I do something so terrible? And so, leaving Jessica behind, who remained silent with her head bowed, we returned home. Noah and I then charged Jessica for the stolen electricity, and due to the strong words from Robert, she paid promptly. Robert and Jessica then divorced. The commercial refrigerator couldn't be repaired, so Robert demanded payment for it, and Jessica paid him back by getting into debt. 
Amid this, Jessica was arrested when the police arrived due to the victim report filed by Noah and me. She was convicted of theft and had to pay a fine. Jessica, now alone and with a substantial debt, made ends meet by working part-time and was repeatedly arrested for shoplifting, which she claimed was part of her savings efforts. Thus, Jessica ended up leading a grim life, going in and out of jail, burdened with a debt she could never fully repay. As for us. Welcome back, it's good to see you again. Well, the food here is delicious, so we had to come back. I'll have the kids' meal, please. Excuse me, we would like to have the daily special, please. Yes, thank you. Please wait a moment. Man, Madison always has the kids' meal. Don't you get bored of it? Eating the same thing makes it easier to remember the taste. Hey, Noah, because of you, Madison's way of speaking is sometimes weird. Wait, is this my fault? I don't think I've ever spoken like that. No, no, Madison is just like her father. While I'm glad to hear that, I can't quite rejoice openly. Dad, it's okay to be more straightforward, you know? There, she said something strange again. No, 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 I definitely didn't say that. Madison, are you mimicking some movie or drama? No way, Dad. You always talk like this. Haha, <laughs> you seem to have a good relationship. I'm jealous. I swear it's not me. Madison, you're not going to go astray, are you? Since then, Robert's restaurant quickly reopened, and we began to frequent it again. We usually go for lunch, but I think we'll try visiting in the evening next time. By the way, Madison's way of speaking is apparently an imitation of Noah when he's drunk, and Noah seems to be unaware of it. I think we'll have Madison record a video next time and show it to Noah. And so, while enjoying delicious food in this lovely restaurant, our family continues to spend time together in harmony.